This Detroit airport is pretty wild. I've got like a three, three and a half hour layover here. And then I'm hopping on a short flight to State College, Pennsylvania, which is the Woodward stop. My buddy Tyler that I haven't seen since 2012 is gonna be picking me up from the airport. Him and I have been talking about skating since 2012. And so when this experience, when this whole opportunity to go to Woodward came up, he was like the first dude that I hit up to see if he was gonna be going to it. Lo and behold, he signed up. We're in the same bunk. And now, he's gonna be picking me up from the airport. So I'm gonna go charge my stuff, kinda get myself ready. I've been awake for about six hours and it's only nine o'clock in the morning right now. So I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm hoping to get a little bit of relaxing done, maybe get a little bit of rest in these next three, three and a half hours. But I'm like a damn kid in a candy store on Christmas on crack. Son. Woodward, what up? Just got out to Woodward. Have not even gotten my skates out of the car yet, but I am standing directly outside of a skate park. And then my cabin is right behind me. I'm so fucking stoked to be here right now. Rail is so awesome. The foam is super sick. I just landed topside porn, kind grind, messed up on a sweat stance. I want to do an alley-oop solo, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I still got time though. We'll see. I love this place. So I don't even know how many videos I've mentioned it in before about how excited that I am to come here. But being here is just like so much more special than I was even anticipating it being, even though I was anticipating it being something super special since I have been looking forward to coming here since the mid 90s. And being here on a weekend where it's only rollerbladers and I've only skated for about three or four hours so far today, and the energy here with all of the rollerbladers is something that I haven't ever experienced before. As you guys have seen on all of the other videos here, I'm always skating alone. So to be skating with groups of dudes that are better than me is just a push that I don't often have. And also just having all of this stuff at these skate parks that I've never skated before, it's all just more of a push than I've ever had. I'm just excited to keep this going, meet more people, watch more people do their thing learn a bit from some people, and overall just have myself the time that I've wanted to have here for like 25 years. I still just can't even believe that I'm here.
8 a.m. hits a lot differently in Pennsylvania than it does down in Florida. It's like 50 degrees right now. I slept like shit last night, and I kind of feel like shit right now, but hopefully I'll be able to have this Aleve kick in, do some stretching, kind of walk around a little bit and see if my body gets feeling a little bit better. But damn, yesterday, yesterday did me in. So I was mentioning yesterday that this place is just like a lot cooler and a lot more special than I thought it was gonna be. Yo, did you sleep out there? We got, we got an empty bunk in my cabin. Oh, really? Just kind of absorb it all? Damn, bold. You know, better than I got, probably. <laughs> as I said earlier, and as I've said in a bunch of these videos before, this is like a 25 year check off of my bucket list. And I think, like most things these days in my life, I feel like this is something that I appreciate way more as an adult than I would have if I was a kid. Just because it means, I think, a lot more to me now than I used to. But I'm eating a Pop-Tart in a skate park at eight o'clock in the morning at Woodward. This is still just so surreal to me. I just dropped my Pop-Tarts directly onto this ramp. But I'm gonna eat them, because I'm really hungry. But I didn't eat anything yesterday. I was up from 3.30 yesterday morning until after midnight and then I woke up at like 7.15 this morning and laid in bed angry with myself for about 45 minutes because I woke up so early. But what are you gonna do, you know what I'm saying? There's a foam pit right there, right? I'm gonna do a front flip into the foam pit. Right behind me is just one of those iconic Woodward rails that I've seen forever. So it's pretty sweet to be able to hit it, even if it's just a Royale. It's a little steeper and a little shorter than I was anticipating. So the Royale is all I feel comfortable with on there. I got some other rails I got some plans for today, so.
They're charging $30 for a wristband to be able to eat the cafeteria food here. So I went to the Dollar General yesterday with Ty and Josh and I got stuff to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because I'm super, super cheap. I'm broke. Let's not make any doubts about that. I am broke, but I'm like the cheapest dude on the planet. So I'm eating peanut butter and jellies, pop tarts, cliff bars, and everything else that the dollar store had to offer. And then I'm gonna go skate more. Yo! I wanna, I wanna line it up to end with that rail. Fuck yeah, Matt.